Area of interest improving as it slowly heads towards Madagascar. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for January 8th. Well, here we are again around the world. The tropics are still relatively quiet, but one particular area of interest that's catching our attention right now is a high chance of development for a system that should develop into a tropical cyclone as it heads westwards towards Madagascar towards the late part of this week and over the weekend. First of all, though, looking at the Atlantic, it's 144 days until hurricane season. There's no areas of interest to look at. There's a few little interesting spots, though. Some extra tropical storms shifting off northeastwards towards Europe. And of course, we have some serious fire weather conditions in California as we move towards the western part of the US. Here's the view in the Pacific. 128 days until hurricane season here. Obviously, it's still a very long time. Enjoy the off season whilst we can. Uh, cloud cover extending into northern Mexico there and central parts of the country too. But in general, it's dry. In the western Pacific, a few thunderstorms, some larger scale thunderstorms as well, blowing up over parts of the eastern and central Philippine Islands, particularly over Samar and on towards the southeastern part of Luzon and Catanduanes. Elsewhere, it's relatively quiet. North Indian Ocean, there's a very small storm there near the Andaman Islands, off the southern tail of those islands, but in general, the North Indian Ocean is looking really quiet here. Uh, very little to talk about, certainly all of the land areas, bone dry. Southern Indian Ocean, we now have an 80% chance of development for that system, still parked centrally over the Indian Ocean. It's going to make some pretty good headway though in the next five days. It will reach Madagascar at the weekend or early next week, and then move into the uh, Mozambique Channel. Again, potentially a threat for Mayotte. And two other systems there in the Southern Indian Ocean with low chances. And this is the South Pacific, two areas of interest as well along this line that we're currently watching. Uh, the first one now starting to sink quite a bit. That should be away pretty soon, but still watching it right now. Another one which will develop in a day or two east of Fiji. So here's satellite imagery right now. First of all, looking at the Western Atlantic area. Very little going on. Uh, obviously, we're in a massive cold pattern across the United States at present. There's still some low cloud over the Mississippi Valley. Here's the Eastern Pacific showing a big bank of cloud that's well out to sea. Uh, but some of it is funneling into the coast of Mexico and channeling through towards the Gulf of Mexico there. Well, this is the area of interest that we're looking at right now. This system, Invest 94S, which is what we've been tracking for a very long time. It is currently moving towards the west-northwest right now. It will eventually make towards Madagascar. Blowing up some significant convection at this time, uh, which it has been doing on and off in fits and starts over the last few days. Uh, but nonetheless, it is starting to look better, and we're just waiting really to see when will that time come where it'll actually develop. Well, here's this other little system. It's starting to get a circulation. This is the one in the South Pacific that's moving off towards the south. That's the southern one that we tagged with 20% chance. Uh, as you can see, it's very much on borrowed time. It doesn't have much time at all to sort itself out. And most of the uh, convection is way off towards the east. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's ever going to get there. I fully expect that it won't. Uh, this is the other system in the Indian Ocean, the eastern one, the one that's uh, near Christmas Island. We've currently given that one, I think, a 30% chance of development. Uh, it should stay away from land. And this is one near Fiji right now. That's the other system, uh, the second one in that line of potential storms in the South Pacific. And this one, as you can see, already starting to get itself together a little bit, but not looking very good so far. You can see the imagery glitching there because the floater moves. Uh, the timing of that imagery is correct. Well, here is another shot of some of our wider areas now, the Eastern Pacific there, showing again that cloud cover that's uh, permeating into the Gulf of Mexico and looking out towards the rest of the Eastern Pacific with those showers and thunderstorms not really affecting any land in general, apart from that little area to the northeast. Well, here's the Western Pacific where those thunderstorms are blowing up all along the eastern fringes of the central and uh, lower part of Luzon. 
uh, the central parts of the Philippines and out towards the west as well. North Indian Ocean uh, again showing very little going on here you can see those colors at the top there showing those uh, reflecting off the very cold temperatures up in Nepal and the Himalayan region interesting artifact there just showing how cold it is looks like cloud tops because it is so cold and this is the uh, Arabian Sea a little a cyclone there uh, over eastern Saudi Arabia uh, obviously not anything to really talk about and this is the Indian Ocean just showing that invest there 94s still how far away it is from Madagascar a long way yet to go but it is heading headlong towards the northern part of the island there's that other system in the Australian region off towards the northwest of Western Australia uh, the, the region immediately around Australia is still looking quiet South Pacific this big line of storms extending across those islands uh, very very disorganized sea surface temperatures still hanging on in parts of the Gulf of Mexico where there's still a, a defiant uh, little tube there of 26 degrees Celsius waters the Caribbean still looking decent one two spots of 28 degrees plus Western Pacific also holding on some good temperatures there for areas of the Philippine Sea around Yap and Palau 29 to 30 degrees Celsius maybe more than that actually off the coast of Madagascar that's the hot point in the Indian Ocean southern Indian Ocean as well as the south of Diego Garcia those areas above 30 degrees the western side of Reunion, the warmest of the Mascarene Islands. Of Australia, still extremely warm there, of Western Australia in particular, above 32 degrees Celsius for a significant area, as well as in the Gulf of Carpentaria and parts of the Coral Sea. Compared to average, it is still piping hot off Western Australia, hottest anywhere in the world almost, 5 degrees above average. Southern side of Madagascar and the western side also looking very good, up to 3 degrees above average. Coal Sea also running up some high numbers again, up to 3 degrees above normal. The La Nina effect there, well the central Pacific still with much cooler anomalies near the equator, but looking east it is starting to warm up a little bit and that could be a sign that things are starting to change. Western Pacific looking at oceanic heat content still has a fair bit banked. And, uh, Still decent amounts around the Mariana Islands in particular, extending towards the Philippines. Well, let's take a look at the South Pacific as well. You can see this big line of uh, very high oceanic heat content extending from the Solomon Islands eastwards, starting to extend down and trickle down towards Vanuatu and Fiji with those elevated energy values, which would obviously really help tropical cyclone development. So looking at the GFS computer model for the next five days, first of all looking at 94S, there it is making that trek, continuing it towards the west. Northern side doesn't get going till the end and then the southern side really gets some intense winds there getting towards hurricane force before that landfall. Then that second possible system forming behind it, we've marked that as well, at, I think it was 20 or 30% too. But this first system that we're obviously watching initially there it is could get to borderline hurricane equivalent as it reaches the northern tip of Madagascar watch it closely now here's this big line of storms in the south pacific east of Fiji uh, moving through Samoa and Tonga and places like that these all a, a train of systems um, any of which could develop into tropical cyclones but we're not really sure that any of them actually will nonetheless it will be a big rain event for this region of the world and some areas could receive over 500 millimeters of rainfall on one or two of these islands in terms of rainfall expectations we're casting our eyes over to the Madagascar region for this potential tropical cyclone where we are looking at elevated rainfall amounts no matter what happens with this system of course the further it develops obviously the uh, more rainfall we will see in general though over a few areas quite a lot of areas of northern madagascar we could be getting up towards 10 inches of rainfall or more maybe up to 300 millimeters that's 12 inches there in a few areas uh, so definitely elevated rainfall amounts for the northern third of madagascar looking into the longer range only the one thing to look at right now and that is that second system which developed and that first system by the way still holding on the western coast of Madagascar moving along down the coast there that second system becoming a powerful cyclone maybe a third system forming behind it as well doesn't get very strong this time on the GFS run 
in that five to 10 day period. That second system becoming a rather powerful cyclone, category two or three. That looks at things moving southwesterly towards Madagascar, but still very early days with that one. Scan the barcode, that will take you through to the Force 13 merch store, all of your favorite items there as well. And of course, want to remind you of our Force 13 Western Tour coming up just two weeks from now. We are setting off stateside and down the Caribbean islands too. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Well, in the Silly Range, this cyclone then thunders down the east coast of Madagascar. It really starts to recurve just at that last moment. And so, a lot of the coast there really gets run down with potentially hurricane force winds. Obviously, this is very far out. The projection and even the development of this system at all could change rapidly with each new model run. But something from Madagascar to watch out for, potentially a double impact in the next two weeks. Well, on this day, it was January the 8th, 1979, when Alice was coming off of its first peak. Category 4, we gave it at this point, but we believe that Alice peaked as a Category 5 typhoon, one of the most underestimated typhoons in the modern era. And you can see on that Dvorak imagery just how impressive that pinhole eye was looking. Elsewhere, we did have two hurricane strength cyclones, Benjamin very close to Reunion and Mauritius and Gordon out there over the Coral Sea moving towards Australia, currently moving through, I think it was Vanuatu or New Caledonia. Crew, well, back to today then, of course, this is our second bulletin of 2025. Hopefully we'll have a lot more. The first name in the Atlantic this year is Andrea. In the Eastern Pacific is Alvin. In the Central Pacific, our next name is Iona. This is Tropical Weather Bulletin number 990 in our history. 10 more till the big 1000 special. In the Western Pacific, next is Wootip. North Indian Ocean, it will be Shakti. Still stuck at zero storms so far in 2025, but we expect that will change soon. The next name in Australia is Sean. Southwest Indian Ocean, it could be it soon, the Kaledi. And in the South Pacific, it will be Pitta. That's it from tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Become an ultimate fan today.